You're now live. I did it. Cool. Hey, so if you've been following me on Instagram, first of all, I'm dressed up like a Christmas elf tonight. White hoodie, red glasses. Very, very festive. I also just finished punishing an amazing dinner of bone marrow and pumpkin. A little bit of salt and uh, for, uh, for my dessert. I get asked a lot about whether or not I have dessert. I did have a, a piece of a maple pecan keto brick for dessert. Those things are massive. They're like a thousand calories. I just eat them in little chunks, kind of nibble on a little bit at night for a nice little blood sugar friendly treat. And um, I'm just messing around on my guitar because my wife and kids are gone in a Christmassy mood. Anyway, so I thought I'd play a Christmas song, um, and I thought I would answer a few of your guys' uh, questions. So let's do let's do three live questions, rapid fire, and then I will play you guys a Christmas song. And then I am going to go and read. I've got a new book that just arrived today, this one. Who Not How. It's kind of like, uh, just as the name implies, almost like a book on, on outsourcing written by this guy named uh, Dan Sullivan and Benjamin Hardy. Benjamin wrote a great book called Personality Isn't Permanent, which is really good. Uh, This book is okay. I have a feeling that they probably could have written this book with like five pages instead of a whole book because it's pretty much just like find amazing people and surround yourself with them to do the things that you're trying to figure out how to do. Don't ask how can I do this. Ask who can do this for me. Um, That's basically the essence of the book. So, uh, questions, what do I eat when I get the munchies? Um, honestly gum, like that's gum and usually a little Zevia soda, uh, is my go-to for the munchies. That's my trick as simple and stupid as that sounds. I order this, uh, gum from South America. It's like really, really good tree resin wax. I forget the name. It's like chick, chickle, something like that. C H I C L E. Um, all time best peptide says Tim question number two. Probably for covering most bases that you want to cover, it would be uh, BPC-157. BPC-157 is probably at the top of the totem pole in terms of safety and covering a wide range of, of, uh, of needs like recovery, fighting inflammation, uh, helping with soreness, uh, etc. So I would say BPC-157. And then um, let's see. What is my bedtime? What is my bedtime? I usually go to bed. um, Well, I I go to bed about 930. I go to sleep about 10. But I'm usually in bed at 930 reading books. Like I'm going to play you guys a song. And then I will literally just curl up in bed with a book. Read a book. And then these days I'll get up usually like 530 or so. Sleep around seven, seven and a half hours. So um, anyways, those are the top three questions. Uh, and, uh, you can go check out my Instagram, uh, what do you call it? Feed? I think it's called, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at social media, but I think it's called a feed that you follow and you can see what I had for dinner and my recipe on what I had for dinner. And I know there's so many other questions, but I'm just going to play this song that I just figured out how to play. So my apologies if I mess up at all. Now I'm sandbagging. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath that Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you could ever know Make my wish come true Baby, all I want for Christmas Is You Oh, oh, baby I don't 
come on a lot for Christmas. You can sing along. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I don't need to hang my stocking there upon the fireplace. Santa Claus won't make me happy with a toy on Christmas Day. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, 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 baby. I won't ask for much this Christmas. I don't even wish for snow. I'm just gonna keep on waiting underneath the mistletoe. I will make a list and send it to the North Pole for St. Nico. I won't even stay awake to hear the magic reindeer click Cause I just want you here tonight Holding on to me so tight What more can I do, baby? All I want for Christmas I don't know if that chord's right Is You Oh, oh, baby You Oh, 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 Nice, quiet, silent night. Let's go with uh, three more questions. Three more questions, and I'll sing you guys Silent Night. Try to butcher that one. Three more questions. You will have to try my bone marrow so you can sing like that. Let's see. Yeah, some of my chords were off. I realized that. I literally just learned that song like five minutes ago, which is probably why. Let's see. Questions, questions, questions. I'm going to scroll through here. Let's see. Someone says look up the song Mary... Axerness. I'll have to look that up. Um, when, what do you do if you have a headache? These days, this sounds really nerdy because I rarely get headaches, but I put magnesium on my neck, uh, both sides of my neck, and um, then I do some breath work, like deep breath work, and that's it. That's how I get rid of headaches. Um, what is my number one staying young hack? These days, I would probably say fasting. Fasting and calorie restriction. So the guy who just ate a thousand calories of bone marrow. Um, hey, Joey's hot sauce with some Joey's hot sauce on it. Actually, um, was your voice what? What was your voice always like that? No, I used to be a little boy. My voice was not like that until my balls dropped. Uh, let's go with one more question. How many hours do I fast? I fast twelve to sixteen hours every day, uh, three hundred sixty-five days a year. Uh, how long I fast. And usually it's uh, overnight, typically from about 8 p.m. until 10 a.m. or so is my fasting window. So there you have it. These Instagram lives are fun. It's like a live podcast. Is that redundant? This is how sucky the podcast would be if it actually were live. Hearing me tune my guitar. I think that's pretty close. Silent night. Holy night. All is calm. All is bright Round yon virgin mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace 
So I'll try a little harmony, and if you're at home, you can sing the melody. Let's try this out. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly hosts sing Alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiance beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. That was like a country Christmas song. Um, anyways, and uh, with that, the very last question is someone says, semen retention biohacks one's voice. Well, that's a nice thought. Thank you for sharing. Um, and uh, maybe we should just end it right there. Uh, on, a, on a more serious note, tomorrow is Tuesday, which means I have an article coming out for you tomorrow on uh, something that tastes like macaroni and cheese that I'm addicted to right now that I've written an entire article about. I'm so addicted to it. That's your clue for tomorrow morning's blog post. Uh, if you did not read this weekend's blog post, it was about uh, polyamory. And so if you, if you read that one or get a chance to go comment or give me your thoughts on that one, uh, my next one's going to be about porn and then after that about sex. So I'm, uh, I'm writing a lot about all things sexual health these days. And in the meantime, uh, I hope you guys have an amazing night. Go to the website. Leave me some feedback if you get a chance to read any of my articles uh, at bengreenfulfitness.com. That's your shameless plug. And um, anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for sharing a couple of songs with me.